Hi, welcome to this lab. Rudra Spark cluster has been successfully created. Now what I'm going to show you is how to create a notebook and copy some code into the notebook. That code will fetch the data from the text file that we created in the earlier lab and process the data. Basically, we will extract only certain columns of the table into the new data frame. Okay, so first of all, let me create a notebook. In order to do that, go back here, click on here and create a notebook. And I'm going to call this as process data in data lake store. Yeah, and the language I'm going to select as Scala and cluster, we have only one cluster. So I'm going to default that to it and then click on create. Now we need to copy some code into this. I already written a code. What this code does basically is it will use the service principle that we created earlier and connect to data lake store and access data from the data table or text file and show the data to you. Okay. So first of all, let me copy this code. Okay. And let's see whether it is running properly or not. Looks like yes. And then I'm going to provide tenant details. If you are doing this lab, you need to change the tenant ID here. This is my tenant ID, but you need to change the tenant ID to yours. And also client ID and client secret. I have created this service principle in the previous part of the lab. If you are doing this lab, you need to change this client ID and client secret. Okay. And once we have everything in place, now it's time to read the data from the text file, put it into a data frame and then show that data initially. Okay. Hopefully it will work properly. Okay. Let's correct this error. Now let's run all. Now our job is running. So let's wait for it. So as you can see, we are able to successfully fetch the data from customer addresses table and show that data here. However, let's say as part of the processing, we are not interested in row GUID. Okay. Row GUID, we are not interested. We are interested on other columns. In that case, we can change the code. Again, that piece of code I already written. So let me copy that just. and then run this. So basically we are excluding that particular column and fetching the values of other columns. So that's a bit of transformation that we are doing or processing the data. So it's running the command. So let's wait for the result. Now the commands has been ran successfully. And if you come down here, firstly, we have a data frame with all the columns. And come down here, here you can see the data frame with only four columns that we are interested in. So that's a bit of an example for processing the data. And not only you run the notebook from Databricks, you can actually run this notebook from Data Factory also. So let me show you that. So let's go into Data Factory, close this and go to Databricks and drag and drop this notebook. Okay. and then click on the notebook, go to Databricks. Sorry, we haven't done that. So first of all, we need to create a linked service for Databricks. Yeah, it is in compute. And here select the subscription and Databricks workspace, Rudra Databricks and existing interactive cluster. And here is the access token that we need to provide. Remember in the previous part of the lab, we created an authentication token within Databricks and we copied the value. So this is the value. So let's go back and paste the token here and select from the existing clusters. Let me show you where we created. If you go to here, 
user settings this is where we created a token isn't it that token i have pasted here okay and let's test the connection hopefully it should work and click on finish now let's dismiss and then go to pipeline now you should be able to see the linked service go to setting browse for the notebook path Oh, where did I create it? Sorry, one minute, please. Yeah, let's select this. And then that's it, publish the changes. So basically you can trigger the notebook as part of the workflow within the data factory. That's what I want to show it to you. Now let's validate this. And then trigger. Hopefully it will run properly. And in order to monitor the run, you can click on here and you can see the in progress. Let's wait for a few minutes and it will get completed. Let's keep on refreshing. Now that pipeline has been successfully completed. If you want to view the details, you can go and view. So that's it for this lab. In this lab, I have shown you how to create a notebook and copy some code in the notebook in such a way it will access the data from data lake store and do some simple processing and also have shown you how to trigger that notebook from databricks and also from data factory okay i hope you find this lab useful